welcome to Casa Catui. That means white cliffs in the Cocha de Pueblo language. We often refer to them as tent rocks, and it's another great hidden treasure here in New Mexico in Sandoval County. Come along, we're going to show you around. This national monument gets its name from the peculiar cone-shaped tent rock formations. And the tents have been formed in two different kinds of rocks. Some began as pedestal rocks, or hoodoos, formed in rocks laid down by moving water. These narrow tent columns have boulders attached to the top, and over time, rainfall and snowmelt loosen sand grains and pebbles beneath the boulder caps until one day, bam, the caps fall off, leaving a bare tent. Now the conical type, they lack the boulders. These form from rocks created by fast-moving avalanches and volcanic debris. Hot gases and steam within the avalanche react, and the liquids rush up toward the surface where it combines with the pumice to create the tent mounds that you see here today. Kachikatui, what a great place to come and have the opportunity to observe, to study, and to experience all these great natural formations that are part of our geology and make New Mexico such a wonderful place to live. So imagine 4,000 years ago. This was your one room suite. Not a bad place to live. This area actually was very hospitable to the people who lived here, the ancient Pueblo people. And this obviously was one of their houses. And the views from here, well, you're going to see why somebody would want to pick this place to live, even on a cloudy day like today. How about this for a tree? I just want to lean over and give it a big hug. It's 325 years old, and we're told it's the second most photographed feature here at Kasha Katui. The most photographed is Slot Canyon, and we're going to take a hike up Slot Canyon right now 